And here you go mm, to my final thoughts. Are these worth it? The collection that we were all waiting for, Chanel's Spring 2024 collection. And this collection marks a couple of things. 100 years of the first beauty product launched by Chanel. Can you believe that? Amazing, a century since they launched their first beauty product. Not only that, but this is the first collection that has been created by the Comet Collective, which is a group of three talented creatives, all of them ladies, that they are just going to bring something new and exciting for the beauty line of Chanel. And this is the year first collection. Let's go ahead and get it started. I know you all want to see these right here, but I'm going to start with this one first. I think both of the color stories of these eyeshadow quads are gorgeous. The first one I'm going to use swatch is 88 Core treasure this gorgeous lilac flip with that pink the coral tones it looks kind of like a sherbet the palette is made in Italy with a shelf life of 18 months I will be leaving all the details of these eyeshadows my makeup everything will be on the description box below along with the links for your convenience and easy shopping as well as if they are available through the YouTube shop situation right here that you can see on the screen on this side or this side the products will be also there for you if you're not yet subscribed to my channel i will highly recommend you to do so not only so you don't miss out any of my videos but also whenever i post on my community tab whenever there is a new product release a new launch a restock alert and if you're on instagram and tiktok well come and follow me there and as per usual i do film in natural light with a 4k camera let's go for swatches i feel so bad to swatch it unfortunately the beautiful embossing you see all those swirls as soon as you swatch this baby, they are going to disappear. They even have like a little CC right in the middle, but oh, it's going to be gone. Well, the CC is not gone. <laughs> well, it's now gone. <laughs> so we have here kind of like a duochrome shade. Then this orangey tone, it's more of like a matte shade. This one seems to be a satin shade. Yeah, kind of like a satin. And then the last shade is also a satin shade look at that oh my gosh so excited ah oh, this looks so good there you have it i'm so excited about spring finally <laughs> i cannot wait for it right now in my area if you see a little bit of light sun and then a little bit of um you know darkness is because it's it's raining today sonia g t5 and I'm going with this shade first. And I'm just going to take it above the creams. No kickback, no fallout. Sonia G Worker. And I'm going to the pink shade. And I'm applying it all over the mobile lead. This is just so spring summery. Sonia G T4 brush. Do you hear the rain? I don't know if you can hear the rain, but well, the rain is here. And I'm going to the deepest shade in the pan, which is more of a almost terracotta tone, but on the lighter side, coppery, I should say. And I'm just tapping it on the outer third, just to add more dimension. Sonia G flat definer, and I'm gonna go to the deepest shade and I'm taking it very close to the root of the lower lashes. With my finger, I'm gonna go to this lilac shade. That looks wet! My goodness. <sighs> Romantic, beautiful, a total spring vibe. Look at that. Mm. I went ahead and applied mascara, eyeliner. This look, it's beautiful. It's delicate and it reminds me Kind of to a sunset it's super delicate so pretty and it does have dimension you may think that these two shades are similar but as you can tell they are not this has kind of like a dual chrome effect obviously in the terms of chanel it's not going to be like wow this is Bar mcgrath kind of eyeshadow this is not too pink that it will make your eyes look sick either and then these two shades, although they look alike in the pan, they perform differently. This gives some depth. And this shade right here is really good to dust it all over the eyelid. It's honestly a beautiful, beautiful palette. Okay, now let's go to the one that I'm sure all of you have been looking forward to. And that is Rivage. 
Ooh, look at this. Exactly what we're gonna be seeing this 2024. A lot of eyeshadows that they will have a pop of blue or a pop of some sort of shade. Just like the other eyeshadow that has that pop of kind of duochrome kind of shade, something unexpected. That's what we're gonna see a lot this 2024. Just as the other eyeshadow quad, you get two little applicators, nothing has changed there. Although we all know that the Tisse eyeshadows, they are going to be reformulated, but I have heard that all these little lunches that we have been receiving here and there has been kind of like trying you know different areas see what is the response of clients at the same time the eyeshadow quad in eclat de nuit which is now available at chanel's website i will be leaving it on the description box below just in case if you're looking for it i had posted it also on my instagram and i do have a special link where you can find all the new releases so i will highly suggest that to take a look on the description box check that link and bookmark it because that's the way that you're going to know whenever there's something new coming that nobody knows about. I'm talking about that Eclat de Nuit basically and of what I have heard of allegedly is that that's going to be the new formula in all the terms of mattes, metallics, satins on the reformulated Tisse line. Hopefully it is like that because the formulation of Eclat de Nuit is superb. Let's go for this baby, Rivage, and let's swatch it. Oh my gosh. Bye. Beautiful. <laughs> Bossy. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are not ready for these. Oh my gosh. Look at all of that. It's a lot of sparkles, a little bit more texture. Let's go for this beautiful blue tone. Look at this. Very celestial and literally like celeste. Mm like that and then we have a very light ivory champagne satin shade borderline metallic again in the terms of chanel when i say in the terms and <laughs> those who know chanel you know that again we're not talking about natasha denona and pat mcgrath we're talking about a little bit more subdued user friendly too and then we have a gorgeous matte shade now this is Again, that formulation that we found in the loose eyeshadows also seen in the Eclat de Nuit eyeshadow palette where basically it blurs, filters your skin. There are so many mullions here. Wow. Okay, that's that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is exciting for Chanel. This is exciting. Oh, look at that blue. Look at that blue. My goodness. And then the ivory tone is not the same as this. This is more like a topper shade. And I hope that you can really see and appreciate it. And then we go with the other. Oh, this matte shade. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you see the little sheen that it has. It's not satin. It is truly a matte shade. But if you have tried the loose eyeshadows from Chanel and you have tried the Eclat de Nuit, you know like it's blurring, it's super soft, it's so gorgeous. Refer 15 brush and I'm going with the deepest shade and I'm applying it above the crease, just dusting it and not building on the pigmentation. Sonia G T04 brush and I'm going to the same shade and now I'm going to build it up on the outer third. Sonia G T2 brush. And let's go for this blue shade. And I'm applying it from the inner third of the eyelid all the way until it meets with a brown shade. Which, by the way, it's a cool tone brown. More of a topy tone, but look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, this is... You know, if you are not very used to wear blues, this is such a wearable blue. Refer 03 brush, and I'm just gonna pop it on my inner corner. And with whatever is remaining, I'm just gonna dust it on my brow bone. Sonia G T1 brush, and I'm just dusting my lower lash line. 
Sonia G Flat Definer going again with this deeper shade and I'm applying it on my lower lash line intensifying the shade by applying it with a brush that it's more packed and more thin too so I'm just creating a very small shade and then this same shade I'm going to apply it on my upper lash line just creating a little win I'm going to create a wing with a liquid eyeliner later, but this is just going to define a little bit more my upper lash line. Now, for the moment of truth, I'm going to use this shade with my finger. It just makes more sense to do so. And I'm just going to tap it right on the center of the eyelid. I don't want to cover the blue shade. But this is just like, I don't know, like you're going for a night out, like a party. Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous. It does have particles of like an ivory. How, you know, like the foil, like the gold foil that you see in food. Um, yeah, when you're foiling something like that, but in an ivory and platinum kind of tone it, there is a mix right here so it's kind of like marbleized it marbleized the eyeshadow that's so amazing mascara eyeliner and an eyeliner on my waterline is on and here my friends is my final look with rivage i actually think it is a very subdued kind of eyeshadow look for being blue something that is extremely wearable i made it a little bit more edgy by applying blue on my waterline because on this collection there is a new eyeliner in this shade of blue but because i didn't pick that up i went ahead and used this one by victoria beckham beauty just to give an idea of how it will look all together i think it could be something more fun something different or you can just wear a simple eyeliner whether it's an ivory tone or a darker shade too i think regardless it will look so pretty i think this eyeshadow is stunning i love its performance and also in this collection there is a new balm essential very much i like to transparent but it seems like it has a little bit of shimmer or kind of glitter in it that i'm not so convinced about but if you're not familiar with the balm essential it just gives hydration to the skin it works really well with powder products too it just adds a little bit of life to the skin which is really really beautiful and they have it in different shades transparent is one of their latest ones too that is not going to add any specific undertone because it's completely transparent the new one like i said it has a little bit of a shimmer kind of situation i'm not so convinced about it to be honest with you and then on this collection there is a new duo blush one side is peach tone the other side is more of a pinky coral tone gorgeous which it will be perfect like peach can go really well with this coral eyeshadow quad while the pink tone can go excellent with this blue eyeshadow quad and there's also a highlighter that looks amazing it's called something ocean basically it looks a lot like this pearly white but with a flip of this kind of light blue very intriguing and very edgy for being chanel i'm just like so surprised about it but i guess that's what we're gonna see this year something a little bit different for chanel something a little bit more edgy something a little bit more trendy perhaps uh, not going completely out from chanel essence but we're gonna see a little bit of a difference i have seen so many sneak peeks already that i'm just super excited and i know some people are gonna be like wow is this chanel <laughs> so anyhow let's go ahead and just apply this baby because as i was telling you the new highlighter from this collection it's pretty much as base like this but it has this blue kind of flip in it i'm gonna get it no matter what i contacted my chanel client advisor but they didn't have in boutique just yet the blush and the highlighter so i have to wait for those and rest assured you will see me coming here doing a full review on those products and a full chanel stream 2024 makeup look so make sure you're subscribed to my channel with a post notification bell on so you don't miss on that aside to those products in the collection there are some whoosh coco balms in two shades 932 i'm gonna put an image right here and the source of the image too 
as well as 934. Now I have applied 914, which is natural charm. This is permanent on the line of Chanel. It does have plenty of pigment. It's super beautiful, as you can tell, a nudie tone. And I think 932 looks close to this shade, but a little bit warmer in tone. And then 934, it has kind of like a burnt orange reddish hue. It seems like it has a flip of gold too. Very beautiful in those swatches. And if you're not familiar with this formulation, it is a lip balm with a tint, a light tint. You can build it up as you can see and just create a more impactful look, but they are super easy on application. Aside to those two lipsticks, there are two Rouge Allure Coco Lux. One in this gorgeous kind of fiery red tone number 93 and number 92 which looks just a little bit more of like a nudie tone these liquid lipsticks are so beautiful they do have a satin finish they look like lacquers they are super beautiful so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get perhaps both shades if not definitely 92 and here you go mm, to my final thoughts are these worth it to me, they are. They are worth it. They are, like I said, in terms of Chanel. So they are giving freedom to the Comet team, the three ladies now in charge to directing the beauty line of Chanel. And they are bringing something different, something new, but not something that is out of the comfort zone of Chanel wearers. Because you're going to have that revamped, reformulated TC line. And then we're going to be seeing a lot more pops of colors, something a little bit different, which I think is refreshing for Chanel, as well as we're going to be seeing other collections that they are more classic for Chanel. So we're going to see a little bit of everything. And in general, these two eyeshadow palettes are stunning they perform beautifully i mean colorful but done in a classy sophisticated and even understated way without being lackluster the formulas are beautiful i didn't found any fallout even on this shade right here which is the one that has the most texture there was no fallout at all and whatsoever if there's any kickback very little with this shade over here but completely minimal same thing with this shade right here nothing that is going to go all over your cheeks as you were able to see on this demo i don't have a mess under my eyelid and i love love the outcome of both eyeshadow palettes okay my friends and now i would love to hear from you are you excited about these two new chanel eyeshadow quads for the spring 2024 collection which products are you the most excited for have you picked them up have you tried them if you have done so or if you don't if you're adding them to your wish list if you're adding them to car immediately or whatever it is the case let's just continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i would invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it will be incredible if you can please come and follow me both on my instagram and tiktok let's keep growing our family in all platforms if you like this video if it serves you of any help it will help me so much and it will feed the algorithm to please give it a thumbs up so we can grow our family so again give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content well i will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye